Hey guys, it is uh, Saturday, November 2nd. Bitcoin is at 69K, and I just want to give you a little heads up as to where I think we are in this trading before the election. Um, and it really boils down to uh, five points. So the first point is uh, we are at 69K, which is basically 2% under all time highs. By any measure, Bitcoin's doing great. Um, we've had an amazing year so far. We're up 66%. Year to date, gold is up 33%. We've outperformed gold, and this is despite Mt. Gox. This is despite Germany selling $3 billion worth of Bitcoin. This is despite FTX selling all of its GBTC. This is about DCG selling GBTC to pay for three AC litigation. There's, there's just been all this selling outside of ETFs. And meanwhile, ETFs have done fantastically well. Uh, IBIT has, uh, has had the best year of any ETF ever. Um, it's the most successful ETF in the history of ETFs, to use Larry Fink's word. So we've had a great year. We're trading almost at all-time high, and we're four days, three days away from the election. Um, so... That's number one. Number one is price action is great. Number two, Trump's still leading by 10 points in the betting markets. You know, these markets have traded, have combined a little, uh, traded, compressed a little bit um, because you can take your profits. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to keep the bet open for the entire length of the market. So we've just seen a little profit taking there. But look, we're still up 10 points in the betting markets. Um, Number three is we are going into a year of rate cuts. Fed's going to rate cut again this Thursday and probably 25 basis points, but maybe even 50, probably probably 25. But the main thing is we're going into a cycle of rate cuts globally. Uh, this is massively bullish. Uh, the fourth thing is kind of the macro deficit environment is completely out of control. We can't have high rates for much longer. We, we're, we're spending more on interest payments than we are spending on defense spending. It, the, it's out of control. There's no way to continue this another year. We have to cut rates, uh, which is very bullish. And the last point is, of course, we are entering the year three of the Bitcoin bull market, and that is the year where all the gains typically are happening. Um, I think there's a really good case to be made for why this extended bull market might continue on beyond three years. It might go to four, five, six years. Um, we'll talk to Plan C later next week about that. Um, but regar regardless, there's a lot of reason to be extremely bullish for next year. So that's the setup. Obviously, I don't know who's going to win. I think Trump's going to win. I think if he wins, we're going to immediately go up to about 80,000. Immediately. Um, but I think, in any case, getting through this election will be positive um, once we get out on the other side. And I think all these facts that I mentioned will still be in play, so I'm extremely bullish. Now, if you like my content, please hit the subscribe button on YouTube. It's easy to do. It doesn't cost you anything, and it gets me up to 20000 which is my target for YouTube subscribers. Anyways, thanks. Have a great day and we'll catch you next week on the Bitcoin First podcast. Thanks.